on Thursday in a dev question video, I answered the question, what is a backend developer and what do they do? Yesterday, I showed you how to become a backend developer with C Sharp. And today it's time to challenge your skills in backend development with C Sharp. Whether you've been using C Sharp for a long time or just started working with it, this challenge should teach you something about where your skills are at and what you still need to work on. So let's jump right into the challenge. The challenge is to build a capture, or build a system to capture purchase data from a caller. Store the data in a database. Now I want to pause right here. This is vague wording because again, I have tried to keep this as open as possible. You could be building an API or you could be building a class library. It's up to you how you want to capture this purchase data from a caller. Okay. So build a system to capture purchase data from a caller, store the data in a database. If there's a duplicate user, update their data instead of adding a new record. So let's say I purchase a book. You take that information and store it in a database. Tim purchased a book. Then let's say that Sue purchases a, a t-shirt. So you put that in information in the database, new record, Sue purchased a t-shirt. Now let's say I purchased a t-shirt. So you'd say, okay, well, Tim already has a record in the database. So let's just add purchase a t-shirt into Tim's record or in some way associate with my existing uh, record. That way you don't have two different entries for Tim in the database. Okay. So that's your goal for building the system. Again, it's up to you how you build it and what part of C sharp you build it in, what type of project you use, whether it's a class library. If it is, that's great, but you might want to write some unit tests or something to verify that it actually works. Um, or an API and maybe write the, um, the HTTP file to test your API. Um, or, whatever you decide for how you're going to capture purchase data from the caller and that caller, you are going to make up the purchase data it's sending in, but I want you to store this in a database. And again, which database up to you. Do you want no SQL database like Mongo or Cosmos? Cool. Do you want a SQL database like SQL server or SQL light or MySQL? Cool. Go for it. Up to you. You choose what you want to do. All right. So it's up to you, but I want you to, take on this challenge. And as I said before, it's important that you put the effort in to get this challenge done rather than just wait until Friday when I release my solution video, because just watching a solution video is going to give you a kind of a warm, fuzzy feeling of, Oh, I understand this now probably, but that's not really what the way to get the most information out of this process. The way to get the most information out is for you to do it first yourself, even if that means holding off and watching a solution video until after you've really um, figured out how to make this work and have written your own application. Now, this one doesn't have to be pretty because there's no UI, but this one does have to be functionally correct. Meaning I want to make sure that you're thinking through things like uh, data input errors or um, information is wrong or checking that the duplicates come in and, and not as duplicates and all the other information that could go wrong, make sure you test for it in your final product. Make sure it's actually going to work and not just for, you know, the easy stuff. Make sure that you throw some curveballs at it to, and make sure it still stands up and it still works correctly. Okay. Um, the way you do this kind of up to you, but you really need to show off your skills as a backend developer here. So you can, um, do a lot of different things with logging or dependency injection or the way you structure your application or how it's built, whatever you want to do, but think through how you want to build this to best show off what you can do as a backend developer. All right, get to it.